I'm just kind of go with it instead of going this way. I want to get this way with the fur because it covers more. Yep. Two sides. I've got a lot of paint on here, but you don't want too much paint. So now I'll just make it like wow. Oh god. So I go like this so I can squeeze the paint off the brush and then just go back over like So don't and just kind of evenly spread it. Don't put this sculpture in the rain. Now we're going to put on um, some kind of clear coat after we put the color to it. And then after we get done completely painting it the way we want it to look. And we'll go back with some um, sealant and put it on top of it. And it'll dry and it'll be weatherproof. Yeah, but if you don't do that, do not put it in the rain. No. Uh -uh. We're going to weather seal it before we put it out there. I do all my sculptures weather still. Yeah, there's one over there. That's a sculpture of Miss Amy's dog. That yeah, died. That, those st stay inside. Those are my insides. Yeah, because that sounded weird. It sounds like they're like inside your body. <laughs> like, those are my insides. Inside projects. Okay. Get that little couple there. Yeah. Too much paint, too much paint, too much paint. Yep, just spread it out evenly. There you go. Don't and have so we got. I have less paint over here. A couple little air bubbles here yeah. and there. But we'll get those as we go. What else do we need to paint? Only the tail? Yep. I'll help you with that. There. Yeah, from here it looks like light green and dark green, but it's white. Oh, we're gonna pause it again. The RV. We do a lot of pausing. All right, so the reason why I'm using a smaller brush is to get into every little crack, every little air pocket. So with a bigger brush, it would take less time, but I think smaller brushes are easier to use for all this. Because <laughs> you can really get into the smaller cracks. And bigger bristles will probably dry up and start falling off faster. That's why I'm using smaller brushes. Ah, oh, it's tripping. Painting upside down is always hardest. It's looking like a gray fox. But it really it, won't be. Nope, oh, this is the base fox. Oh, 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 oh. We missed the little right here. Yeah, it's alright. It's looking really cool. Yeah. 
It's like it's a box in the mist. Mm -hmm. And you can't see it. Yeah. It's in the shadows. Actually, we have like a bunch of light in here that wouldn't make sense. Very hard to paint upside down sometimes. Looking good. Looking really good. This is actually trying to dry pretty fast. Which is a good thing. The faster it dries, the more spots we can see where we missed. Like right there in those little cracks. Right there. A little bit right there. Yeah, right, yeah, right there. Missing some right here. So this is going to have to dry overnight. Yeah, we missed a lot under there, didn't we? We'll get to that. There's some over here, if you would like to get it. Yeah. I, can't. I need more paint. Having a lazy Susan to paint on really helps. Thank you, baby. Thank you to my old man. We're hooking that up for me. Because I really would have never been able to get this all the way done. He would have came in a room like, what, what are you doing, gymnastics? Standing on my head to paint under a fox. Probably what Dad would say if he saw you doing that. If, and then he would laugh at me. No, he'll laugh at you before he said anything. <laughs> but, yeah, if you can, like, need a lazy Susan or want one made, we can make you one. Yeah. Very handy for painting stuff like yeah, this. That's my hair. Look at this. Is it my hair? No. Probably. I always end up getting paint in my That's hair one way. Well, it's probably mine with gray paint. <laughs> so, is that all? No, I know I'm pretty sure we got some spots we missed somewhere. Like, too much paint over here and ain't drying. Oh, it's too much paint. See, see how it's drying right there? And it's got some white showing. Just go back over. It's simple. I think there's some, oh no, that ain't. There's some water. Just slather it like that. This kind of looks like Xena. Kind of. Hey, you guys want to hear Xena bark? No, we're not going to make Xena bark. <laughs> Took her down forever to get her to be quiet. Yeah, she's finally quiet. If I go in there and leave the room, she'll bark. So I ain't going in there. 
I can't really tell it, but... This is drying pretty quick. Alright, I think we're going to leave it that because they pretty much get the whole idea of the painting thing. So we're going to swirl it. Show it off a little bit. There's probably some cracks in there, bubbles, that we have to go back over. Yep, like right there. I saw something, but now I can't see. It's right here. That's why it helps to have a Lazy Susan or swivel table, whatever you want to call it. We made lazy, ours. Lazy man's desk. I don't know. We made ours. But it always helps to do sculptures on it. That way you can get the light and see oh, there's another place you missed and there's another and and then you can just swivel around yeah. without having to move and stand up and sit down like a thousand times. And you could just swivel it around and yeah. find out pretty yeah. much. Yeah, we made ours for my yard sale sign and one of our old chairs. So you probably pretty much get the gist of the you way get, you base paint. You get you get the idea. And having one of these swivels.